lagt i brak I mångfoldige år Och byen har glömt oss I skyggan vi står Men nu är vi tillbaka Där vi hörar till Tillbaka i toppen I världens vackraste spel Vi är åsarna Vi är åsarna Vi ska kämpa som härta mot all slags press För det som har tyra på mitt allt gräs Vi är åsarna Når kampen är vunnet Skalpen er tatt Ja, da skal vi feire Som gal og besatt For dette er klubben Av kjøtt og blod Her finnes ingen stjernenøkker Her går vi to og to For vi er åsene Vi er åsene vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press For det som har tyra på mitt alt gjest Vi er ho, 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 sanne For dette er plassen Dette er mitt sted Overalt i verden Er det her jeg finner fred For her har vi blomstret Her skal vi svinne hen selv når vi er borte Så står klubben igjen Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press Og dø som har tyra på middagene Vi er åsene Vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter Mot all slags press Og dø som har tyra på middagene Vi er åsene vi er åsene Vi skal kjempe som helter mot all slags press Og dø som har tyra på mitt alt gress Vi er åsene What's going on guys we are back again with asane we're continuing season five yesterday we had a good start today we are gonna probably have some uh, some tough tough games coming up and um we already have one loss and we already tied one game so as the title shows we need consistency even though we have a great team right now for this level we still we still struggle let's start guys i hope you're well today is sunday may 28 let's go so let's go through the games that i played uh, yesterday on my own um so we finished the stream with the two nothing win at home against Stromgo set and another win at home against Haugesund uh, on my own I played a few hours later 1-1 one, one, uh, we tied at Bodoglim this was a very very good result I'm going to show you the highlights um this was a hard hard but point away at Bodoglim let's watch the goals Definitely, um, we could have lost this game, but I'm happy that we salvaged a point in the end. We scored a late goal. It was a penalty. We're seeing here Bodo Glimt with a beautiful finish here in the uh, 16th minute. Salnes 
uh, when we were hoping to dominate the league we're still struggling against Bodo Glimp guys and we tied the game in the 82nd minute through a penalty Hauge uh, with a decent decent finish we uh, we won at home against Lillestrom 2-1 uh, after we came back from uh, being one nothing down in the cup we you know played the backups and we uh, won 13-1 uh, against an amateur team uh, Ross after that uh, we're back in Elite Syrian with a away win 2 nothing at Sarsborg and then uh, at home we lost the der the derby of uh, our city Bergen derby against Brann 3-2 and I want to show you the highlights for this one too it was a very 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 uh, entertaining game let's watch the goals although we lost uh, I'm still you know I'm still happy with the way things are going at Asane uh, this was an important game for us because uh, we wanted to show our fans who is the best team in the city we started really good with a goal in a 24 minute Rasmussen and then a great free kick here by Blomberg kind of like put us with our feet on the ground and then 2-1 right after the halftime steady for Be for Bran and then 2-2 two, two. Balac uh, with a good assist here for Hannibal Hannibal takes a shot hit the post and Balac again from the rebound 2-2 two, two. and the heartbreaker in the 80th minute Blomberg here on the right is looking to pass for Vassberg one touch pass back to Blomberg and 3-2 game over this was uh, the highlights for the yesterday game against Bran and then in the cup it doesn't matter we won again against uh, another amateur team Biasen 7-1 so our first game in today's stream is away at odds in the elite Syrian. let's uh, check the league standing As uh, we can see here, we're three points behind Bodoglim. Bodoglim started the season almost perfectly with only one tie, six wins. Um, we have the same goal difference. So definitely it's going to be another season, guys, where we try, where we try to dethrone Bodoglim. They are way better than us, even right now with the improvements we made in the transfer market we are in may 2026 so um, two more months or th i think three more months close to three more months and we start the qualifiers for the champions league all right let's check the situation in our team we have opemi injured oh and one more thing guys yesterday i recalled Rappo from his loan at um, uh, where was he on loan? Let me see here. La Victoria Pilsen. So he was on loan at Victoria Pilsen, and I decided that we needed him. We got him back, and then I decided to sell. And then look at how much money we got from Hammarby 2.5 million. Uh, Neo Rappo, we sold him to Hammarby. We sign him, guys, for 500k from Supersport United in South Africa. And then we sold him for 2.5 million in Sweden to Hammarby. And we made $2 million profit. This is exactly what we're trying to do every single time we sign a player. We are thinking in the future. We're thinking what we're going to do with him in the future. We're not looking exactly at the potential right now. I mean, not the potential, at the current ability right now. We're thinking about the future. How much money or how much profit can we make with him? Same with Kvitel. Two players that we, you know, we got 5 million, over 5 million for both of them. And they didn't cost us too much. So with this money, with the 2.5 million from Neo Rappo, guys, we got Elias Haug from Sarsborg. 126 current ability, 
the central defender that we needed so much he was the one that we are looking for norwegian international under 21 international and uh, he was wanted by atalanta he was wanted by another two big teams um we were faster we were more decisive and we paid 2.2 million with 50 percent future fee for him we were desperate for another a good central defender and with this current ability at only 20 years old he was the perfect the perfect guy um like i said sarsborg is a new promoted club in elite syrian so for him this is an improvement for us is an improvement so it was a, per a perfect deal I know we, we paid a lot, but we are hoping in the future to sell and at least uh, to get our money back 2.2 million and 50%. Uh, with clauses, it, it can go to 2.6 million. But like I said, 20 years old, uh, future Norwegian international. So Elias Hogg, welcome to Asane. Everything else is the same. We got, uh, as you already know, we got Rasmussen. We got him uh, yesterday and uh yeah 425,000 we paid for him and 50% future fee it doesn't matter like i said because he is 28 so in 2 years he's going to be 30 his value is going to decrease uh for now he is the starter but him and uh Botker are right there Botker is a little um i mean he's he is younger and uh he's lower in value like he's not uh, even close to 118 he's actually 97 current ability but he can improve and we're still hoping he will uh, make that improvements uh, very very soon because he's already 19 years old and uh, usually if you're a wonder kid in football manager uh, at this age you're starting to to boom you're starting to to show your uh, you're starting to show signs of real improvements and both care kind of stagnated uh, since last season so hopefully he is actually a wonder kid all right we have uh opayemi like i said injured for five to eleven days so we have to put somebody else on the bench here let's do peterson and drought peterson is injured also for three more days um we're uh, we're about to start the game guys uh, against the odds let's check the training levels i didn't do it yesterday for sure i didn't do it yep so we're coming out of a loss against bran we need um, definitely we need to win this game to keep our hopes alive for the league title because as you can see bodo glimt they're not making mistakes they're just gonna win every point i don't know how they do it they're playing in europe they're playing in elite syrian they play in the cup they won last year they won the cup and the league we need to figure it out but definitely this is this is the fifth season of our journey in 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 norway guys if we don't win the league this season with this team then i don't know when i don't know how we're gonna be able to do it because Bodo Glimt is they keep improving they keep improving every year they have probably now they have another wonder kid they just sold their goalie wonder kid to Fulham for 11.5 million add that to the money that they got from Europe uh probably they played in Europa League that's another four or five million but their budget is way way higher than ours I don't know how we can close that gap between us and them. The value gap. So this is going to be a two hour or maybe two hour and a half stream. Two hour and 20 minute stream, guys. Because the Premier League games are going to start at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. So I want to watch some of those games. I have some bets going on there. Garcia. Did I, didn't I criticize him? I think I did. Alright. Alright, let's check for additional training. Shooting. Mm 
bow control. Strain. Escobar. Ah, let's do crossing. And we have Gelhard injured for I don't know how long. Let's see here. Our best player, guys. Got injured for a month. A little over a month, actually. So we are gonna play Kamanzi now as a as a winger and as a right back, we have to figure out now. Okay, we'll play Kamanzi as a right back because Romach is injured also. Man. And Hauge is injured also. We have one, two, three, four injuries. One suspension. Ah, man. Silstad. Can Silstad play this game? Is 90. Okay, let's take a risk. We're gonna risk and play Silstad. I will play the kid and Kamanzi. Go back to your original role as a winger. Msomi, Welsh, Silstad, and Gvale. Romach, how many days? Three days. Oh, okay. Three days injury. Who else is injured? Suspended Elias Hogg, the, the new central defender. He is suspended, so we can't have him on the bench. Our only central defender and left back also, Ethan Amundsen Day. And Kvale. Kvale is the left back man this is gonna be tough it's gonna be tough let's give both care the start for this one all right we're ready let's get the three points that's the position where we have to improve drastically the uh, the shadow striker Go out there and impress me. Come on, boys. We need consistency. We need to keep, keep winning. There's no other way. Odds is a very difficult opponent. Last season, they were almost there. They're almost uh, fighting for the league title. But exactly like us, they started to, to choke right at the end. Zamburek for Welsh. Welsh for Seelstad. 16 years old, right back. Welsh, Balach, Matazo, Hannibal, Msomi, Msomi, very good pass to Silstad, Silstad with the cross and one nothing. what a cross by Silstad, <laughs> what a cross for Balach. I would not, I would not say it, still, I don't want to get, you know, in trouble <laughs> at the end of the of the game we might lose and then i'll look stupid but coaching i decided to give him a chance still start and he delivered already borderline wonder kid vale got a yellow card we need to make sure he is not getting the red putting pressure on odds, maybe we can score another one. Kamanzi. Kamanzi! Good shot. And Rosbach with the save. Oh, 
Ghost. Come on, Vale. If Vale would have been faster there, could have put that in. Yeah. Vale 6-4 now. There's always a player that underperforms. Come on, Zamburek passing to Kamanzi. I think I'm gonna move Kamanzi on the left. Zamburek. Zamburek is gonna look for a pass. Kamanzi. Matazo post again. Wow. Stilstad. Stilstad is having a great day. And we were hoping for a penalty, but come on. Not everything will go our way. Uh, we're waiting for Odd's reply. Definitely they will try to come back out of this. And we are still... We're still in charge here. Come on, Z. With the cross for Balac. Msomi. Vale. I like the reaction of the players after the loss against Bran. This is exactly what we want. We want to brush off whatever happened. And fight for uh, our objectives, our expectations. Half an hour in, and now Odds is having a counter attack. We need to survive this. Person on the left cutting inside, and Rugland is there. First shot on goal for Odds. And now corner kick. Walla Egeli, the brother of the players that played for us, the international Sandra Walla Egeli, who is now playing for Southampton and Bodo Glimt is winning at Brand 2 nothing them you can't stop those guys you cannot stop those guys man person person and it was an offside. We are lucky. More and more pressure from Odds. Msomi got a yellow card too. Pilstad passing now to Kamanzi. Can we score one more just to relax? Kamanzi. Very good run on the right. Getting inside the box. And it might be a penalty, guys. It might be a penalty. Yep, no penalty. Excuse me, guys. All right, we have yellow cards. We have three. Hannibal got one too. Let's see what can we change at halftime. So we're seeing Vale is struggling. 6.30. Uh, let's move Kamanzi for Vale. On the right... We have to find a way, uh, probably, so let's move Raholt, yeah, we're gonna do Hannibal on the right, Raholt inside forward on the left, and then 
We need to deal with Matazo also. Okay, so we're gonna give him another 10-15 minutes because he's a key player for us, so we can't just take him out. Let's see how we're gonna... Keep it up, boys. Let's see how we're gonna perform second half after the break. Ideally, it will be to score one more goal. I hate those games where you wait until the 90th minute to, to see if you can survive. Or those games when you don't survive and then you even lose the game. Because the opposing team makes a comeback. <clears throat> 57th minute. Still one nothing for Asane away at odds. Rahold, both gear, both gear got clipped from behind, and Odds is winning the possession again. Noro used to play for us, Noro. Egil Jonsson, Noro again. Noro with a beautiful, beautiful pass for Persson. Person, Noro, and this was the biggest chance they had so far. Noro could have finished it here. More and more chances for odds. Seems like the goal is coming. Let's survive this. Oh my god, this was this was really close. All right, Matazo is having a bad bad game. Uh, let's do Zamburek for Matazo and Rasmussen as a Metzala. Both gear 650. Okay, Rasmussen for both gear actually. And let's do Hussein. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. But we need to hold for another 25 minutes. Come on, Z. Raholt. 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 Not a, not a bad idea. It's just like you have to put more juice. Uh, the, the shot was way too weak. Kamanzi again for Raholt. Raholt, beautiful, beautiful pass to Rasmussen. Rasmussen! Ah, man. Raholt, very, very good um, idea there with that pass through. And Somi. <clears throat> Zamburek. Raholt again for Kamanzi. Kamanzi with the cross for Hannibal. Silstad back to Hannibal. Hussein Zamburek. And Hannibal. Goal, but it's offside though. That's the only issue. <laughs> Great build up. It's just offside. Seventeen more minutes. At least we're putting back, uh, putting the pressure back on them. After getting dominated for more than 20-25 minutes, 
seems like our changes in the middle showed some improvement. There's still plenty of time for odds to come back. That's why we need right now, we need to be focused. And if we can capitalize, we can score one more goal just to... Just to assure our fans we get the three points. Hussein uh, blocked shot. We uh, we tried so hard to, to sell Hussein. He almost left. Uh, Valerenga offered two hundred fifty thousand for him, uh, and in the end, uh, they couldn't reach a deal. Probably the contract offer was too low for him, and he rejected it. And then uh, he stayed, and now we're using him as a deep, deep backup. He is getting closer to thirty-four years old. The oldest player in the team that we have and right now we have to find a way to get rid of them i don't like to have all players in the team i don't know i always uh want to keep players uh, no older than 27 28 in the squad 82nd minute and this is another chance with another offside yep yeah. But I think we deserve the win based on uh, on our domination and uh, the chances we created. I think we were more dangerous and I see Hannibal with a free kick. Usually he <clears throat> he scores a lot of goals from uh, from free kicks. Hannibal, he's really good at free kicks. Come on, Z. Corner kick. Ninetieth minute, Balac. Balac, another blocked shot, corner kick again. We'll take it. We don't care, as long as we keep the danger away from uh, our goal. That's all that matters to me. Msomi there with a decent header could have scored. Unexpected three points that uh, we are very, very close to, to earn here. After that painful loss against Braun, guys. Balac and game over. This time is not an offside anymore. And Hannibal finds a way to assist Balac. Uh, one on one chance and uh, delivers the goods. Great finish. Still start here for Hannibal. Hannibal, what a pass for Balac. And our Romanian wonder kid bring us the three points. At least we are keeping close to Bodo Glimt. Last season we destroyed Bodo Glimt. 6-1 and 5-1. We, we won two times against them and we still lost the league title. This season we already played them 1-1 away. We got a point. And definitely they will make more mistakes. But we are going to make mistakes too. That's the deal. Wow. And Rasmussen. 3 nothing, Unnecessary goal. Kamanzi with the assist. But Rasmussen. He, he, he wants to prove to me. That he is better than Botker for now. And uh, I don't know if he's better, but he's in a better form because he scored last game too. Great finish. 3 nothing win away for Asane. On a very tough, tough stadium. And now... my chance for odds from how our central defenders are clearing the danger 
Kamanzi, when we moved Kamanzi on the left, we kind of... Um, see, like, he's 8.1 rating, so he likes to play on, on, the, on the left. The kid that uh, we have on the left as a backup, Kvala, still is readjusting to... Um, to life in Bergen, I guess, because since we got him, he had only poor ratings. All right, great job, guys! Very nice victory. We played perfectly. Yep. So, Bodoglim beat Bran away 2-0. Brynhilsen with two goals. Molde beat 2-0 Christiansund. So, after eight games, we're still second. Our next game is Sandefjord in the cup. I I don't know. I'm going to play the backups again. Great game by Kamanzi. Niko Balac with two goals. How many does he score yet? Five in eight. Five goals in eight games. Rasmussen also. Two goals in three games since he rejoined us. Press conference. Sunday if you're the uh, relegated. So this is uh, the third round of the cup. So we need to put our backups, guys. But the game is going to be in three days. So let's wait until game day. And then uh, we'll see who is available, who is not tired, who is not injured, who is not suspended. Yep, and Somi suspended. William Kvale suspended. After Sunnyfjord, we travel to Christiansund. So we have three reasonable games ahead of us where we can get all the points bot gear i'm not happy i'm not gonna criticize him yet but we are thinking to sell him for profit if uh, he's not improving anymore the way we did with uh Vitil, the way we did with Rappo. Maybe we can get a million for him. He's very, very young. Teams are probably going to be interested in him. Yeah. Hannibal is having a great time in Bergen. Since we got him on loan. He's a beast. No matter where he plays, left right he always delivers hmm i wanted to check the set pieces yeah and runar hauge has a very good start of the season with two goals in five games and he got injured for two weeks now he's back uh yeah let's check the set pieces because we have so many new players maybe we can improve the Fusain on corners, Kamanzi, Romac. Yolo. Actually, Hannibal. Yolo. Free kicks. Let's do Honeyball first because he's an undisputed starter. 
Let's do Rasmus in second. Kyolo third. And Garcia. Long throws. Jan Escobar. Romach. And let's see penalties. Runar Hauge first. Balach second. Hussein third. Hannibal. Radio Pan. Uh, yeah, forgot about Radio Pan, guys. Um, so we got him back from the second team. Because we need a decent backup striker. So until he's going to leave, because we already sold him, right? Him and Keegan Johannes. So until they're going to leave the club, we can still use them. They're our players. They're going to leave in July. So now we're in May. They still have two months um, from their contracts with us. Are oh, they going to help us? They're going to play uh, in the cup. They're going to play uh, Boitumelo Radio Pan. We actually re uh, register him for the Elitsirian roster. And uh, he already scored two goals, I think. No, one in four. Okay. But uh, Johannes and and who else? Uh, Facundo Garcia. They are not registered for the. They're not registered for the Elysian squad or for uh, Europe, and uh, they're just gonna play in the cup. So let's just put our backups for the next game. Hussein. I'm on Sunday. Johannes. Poor Welsh. Botger. Kamazi, we have to put somebody else on the right. Era Holt. Kyolo cannot play on the... Okay, Kyolo can play only Shadow Striker or Deep Playing Playmaker. Yeah, let's put Kill in. For now. Or Hauge. Yeah, Hauge. But man, Silstad. What a game he had against odds. Promising, promising kid. 16 years old, already 90 current ability, borderline, borderline wonder kid. Yeah, Olsen Pedersen is back. Our starting goalie. Okay, we're not we're not going to check the training levels or the additional training. We're going to do that right before Christiansen game. <clears throat> so Elias Haug Let's give him playing time Ah. 
Excuse me, guys. I don't know. I hope I'm not getting sick here. So, Seal Stud is really tired. So, we have to bench him. Runar Hauge is not fully recovered. We need somebody on the wing. Brout. Hmm. The only one that I think of is Helen. Alright, whatever. It's just a cup, guys. Somehow we're gonna find a way to win this game. Okay, uh, let's go to the tactics and do a minor, minor tweak. Killin. I'm gonna use him as a winger. Not inside forward. We should win this game, even with our backup son, if you're he's playing in Obos League. In. Maybe this season we can win the cup. We never won anything since I took over. No trophies yet. Healing for Kyolo. In the penalty box. Kilo back to Killen. Johannes. Hussein. One nothing. Very early goal again. Second minute of the game. Kyolo. Johannes Haug Kilen Hussein Garcia Garcia for Raholt Kyolo could have been two nothing. Garcia, very active. It feels like we can score a goal at any point. Son, if you can't can't give us any any problems. The fans are happy so far. We have a yellow card. Amundsen Day. Garcia. Kvala again on the left. Come on, guy. You need to step up. 
Johannes. And Kyolo, 2 nothing. Sunday Fjord, they look really, really weak after relegation. Possibly uh, that they, I don't know, they sold some of their players, released. Because they look really weak. Last season, we lost against them. We lost 3-2. Ayer, Salte, and Ruglandry save hands. Garcia, Radio Pane, Hussein, Kyolo. Oh, what a shot by Radio Pane. Very near miss. Haug, Vale, oh that's nice, and what a goal by Radio Pane, but what a cross though, by Vale, nice, bread and butter, look at that, clean shot, Surprisingly, it's not raining. Haug, very good interception. Garcia. Raholt. Gvale. Hussein. Killen. We literally keep killing in the in the squad just to have numbers. Like he's really, really bad. And for nothing, what a what a mistake by the son of your central defenders. For nothing before the break. Yolo with the double. Johannes with another decent cross from the rebound. Kyolo headers it in the top corner. Johannes with a 9.8 rating. Still 43rd minute, still first half. Johannes Killen. 3,500 uh, fans 
in the stands so we have to think about building a new stadium guys Rahold Hussain Sixtieth minute. Can we score one more? Vale. Rahold. Vale cutting inside. And we're exactly one hour into the stream. Yolo. Can he score the hat trick? Ah, oh, he hit the post. This would have been his third goal of the game. to six minutes Sandia Fjord looking for their goal can they score it who knows let's see corner kick Haltvik and they did Wally and GA 4-1 still doesn't matter guys It would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. Kyolo with the free kick. Corner kick. I know this uh, this cup games early early round uh, cup games are very boring but we need to play them guys this is a chance for the backups to impress get some playing time improve their fitness levels Johannes Kyolo Radio Pan, Kielen, for Kyolo and Albertsen with the save. 14 minutes left. If you're watching the stream for the first time, before you go, don't forget to follow the channel i have a youtube channel also where i can um, post each day the past streams and you can see everything you want 
You can watch, rewatch everything you want from the past. I also have a Discord channel where you can join and get uh, posted with uh, any news, any uh, schedule changes. Seventy ninth minute. Danny Fjord is looking for scoring a second goal, and they do. Altvik for two. Ah, no need to get concerned. They still uh, have uh, two more goals to score just to tie the game, and not enough time. But I need to let the players know I'm not happy with this. last few minutes here no need to make any subs we're gonna leave our backups to play the full 90 minutes side interesting could have been 4-3 and 10 more seconds anytime the referee will end the game and that's it finally very nice victory let's move on We're traveling to Christian soon in four days. Let's praise the goal scorers. One is Etzaz Hussain. Matias Kielo with two goals. And uh, Radio Pane. Three assists from Johannes. Too bad you have to go, bro. I'm curious who we're gonna get in the next round in the cup. We got KFUM Oslo. KFUM Oslo. Still a very, very good draw for us. We can go easily to the next round.
three days. Let's place our starters. Kamanzi, we'll play Kamanzi on the left. Hannibal for Raholt. Balach Radiopan. Rasmussen for Kyolo. Welsh. Oh, Romach is back, okay. Elias Haug is kinda like tired, but he will recover until game day. And better stand for Rugland. Okay, so we're gonna play. We're gonna play Christiansen and Jerv, guys. We're not gonna have time for Rosenborg. So two more games. It's a slow stream. It was expected Sunday uh, here in the U.S. It's the uh, Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people are away from their homes, enjoying their three days during the weekend. It's a long weekend, so yeah, it's ex it was expected to be a slow stream, especially because I choose to, to stream early due to the Premier League games. So yeah, we're going to play Christian soon, and the last game of the stream will be Jerv. Tomorrow we'll be back with another two-hour stream. Most likely, it's going to be around 8 a.m. Central Time on Discord. I will let you guys know if anything changes. Slowly but surely, we're making progress uh, in our save. We need to wait for Bodoglim to make a mistake. game day we will check the training levels they almost got into Europe last season Christian Sund for a good part of the season they were top five top five team in elite Syrian Somi, 
raise. Heroglandry 9.15. Balaj. Usually I don't go lower than 7.30 rating. If it's lower than 7.30, there's a danger they will react weird to your praise. Like this guy. Okay, let's check for additional. Okay, we have some Somi quickness. Bow control. That's it, we're ready, let's go. Three points. That's all we need. Come on, Z. Mm. Corner kick. Pedro Romach. Bodo Glimt is uh, playing at the Jerve. Most likely they're gonna win again. <clears throat> Zamburek wins the ball in a good area. Romac. Zamburek. Matazo. Balac. Balac tries to find Hauge. Hauge is not that fast. Oops. Hmm. We shouldn't uh, lose the ball in that uh, in that area. Decent free kick. Another corner for for us in the eighth minute of the game.
Bodoglim still 0 0 at Jerv. Haug 6.5 and yellow card. Amazi on the left. Rasmussen. One nothing. Deflected. I don't care how we score, guys. Rasmussen took a shot. And from the from the rebound, the defender went in the goal. I saw unlucky for Christiansen. Romac with the cross. We're still putting a lot of pressure on uh, on the home team. Ideally, it's to score another goal before halftime, just to be more more relaxed. We need to be comfortable. I hate those games with a lot of pressure. And with the quality team that we have this season, we shouldn't have those moments anymore where we struggle in Elysian. Maybe only against Bodo Glimt and Molde. Hauge. Matazo. Building from the back again. Trying to breach their defense for the second time. Romach. Hauge in the box. Ah, what was that, dude? Can't wait for Gilhart to come back from his injury. We miss him. And Olsen Peterson. Beautiful save. Half an hour in, still 1-0. Kamanzi. Very, very useful player, this uh, this guy. Kamanzi can play winger, can play defender, can play left, can play right. Very versatile. And almost 2 nothing. Zamburek here with a great shot. Romach with the corner kick again. Haug. Romach. Hauge. We have Haug and we have Hauge. <laughs> That's so funny. So Bodo Glimt is still tied at Jerv. Rasmussen, Rasmussen in the box, getting tackled. Zamburek, decent, decent try, but over. Last corner kick of the first half, maybe. Romac. Zamburek from the rebound. Welsh. Hannibal in the box. Matazo. Balac. Switches to Romac. Zamburek. For Hannibal. Uh, that's it. That is it. We had our chance. That was the last chance of the first half. The players need to rest and recoup. We need to find a way to score the second goal. Pure domination, as we expected. All right, 
Let's start the second half. Welsh. Romac. Welsh for Hannibal. Hannibal is going to look for a cross. He's passing to Kamanzi. What a shot by Kamanzi. Deflected by the central defenders and we're winning another corner. Romac. Matazo. Back to Welsh. Niku Balac is struggling. 6.6 .6 rating. Maybe uh, after the 70th minute we can uh, sub him with Radio Pane. In case he's not going to score until then. How gay. Rasmussen. Rasmussen for Balac. 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 What are you doing? Matazo. Matazo. With a stupid shot from over 20 meters. So far away. Kamanzi. For Balac, yeah, he's, he's not himself this game. Hannibal with a free kick. Oh, Vatne Brauti. Great save. And yep, Nick Balash 6 5 is confirmed. So let's uh, not waste more time and put Radio Pane in. And who else? Elliot Haug. Hmm. We're gonna wait for that. We don't have a proper, proper central defender. We have Ethan Amundsen and Day, but I'm not trusting that guy. Let's uh, wait for another 10 minutes. Matazo, Rasmussen, Rasmussen. Passing for Hannibal. And that's it. Rasmussen. Again, decisive. If he didn't score this game, he assisted, guys. Assisted for Hannibal and Hannibal again. Also, great performance. So now, uh, definitely, we can relax. Hopefully, Bodo Glimt is going to drop some points. Mm. Immediate response by Christiansen. We're lucky. The ball hit the post. Hannibal trying to find Radio Pane. Come on, Z. Come on, Z for Hannibal. Hannibal tried to cross the ball. The ball reaches Hauge. Ah, Hauge is a right footed. And he chose to shoot with his left. And you've seen the outcome. Horrible, horrible outcome. 
all right let's make more subs it's uh the 80th minute let's leave this highlight uh go and then after this we'll make some uh some changes Come on, Z. Matazo. Rasmussen. Rasmussen, very nice dribble. Beautiful, beautiful. Matazo, Kamanzi. For Hannibal, back to Kamanzi. Rasmussen. Alright, enough. Let's make some subs, guys. Both care for Rasmussen. Uh, Raholt. Inside four on the left. We move Hannibal on the right. For Elias Haug. Amundsen Day. And we have one more. Yep, for Romach. We'll do Christian Silstad. Kamanzi, 87th minute, free kick. Hannibal. <clears throat> Amundsen Day. Hannibal, 3 nothing. <laughs> Amundsen Day, the guy that I didn't trust, he assisted Hannibal. Very comfortable win. Two goals from Hannibal. And it looks like uh, Bodo Glimt is going to drop some points. Game over. 3 nothing. Beautiful, beautiful performance. The mood in the squad is really, really good. Everyone is happy. And yes, Bodoglim tied Jerv. So now we're just one point behind Bodoglim, guys. We're going to play Jerv at home in six days. And that's going to be the last game of the stream. Successful stream so far with wins. In Elysian and in the cup also. Let's praise the goal scorers. Rasmussen. And Hannibal. Vale back in the squad. And Somi also. So far, I'm not too happy with uh, with Elias Haug, although he's still really, really young and he just joined us. He needs to improve his ratings. Only 680, five games played for us so far. It takes time probably for him to adjust to life in Bergen.
But as we check right now on Somi, he looks already better. And he's only 18 years old. Three caps already for South Africa. For a South African senior national team. And his attributes are going up. Elliot Haug is 20 years old. This guy is 18 years old. And they're very close in value. And Sherwin Msomi is an 190 CM. Elliot Haug is 185, I think. Yep. But it's always good to have strong defenders and very good defenders. Uh, very close in value. We, uh, we need to have our subs uh, very close in value with the starters. This is what we lack right now. That's why we're not winning the league yet. We have a very good starting team, but the bench is weak. Let's see how much money do we have right now. So we are overspending. We're spending five, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. five million two hundred ninety-three. We're down two million in the overall balance, but it's gonna fix itself when we play in Europe, if we're gonna play in Europe. Let's cover this for now. Yeah, now we're good. So the target for the next transfer window is to improve the shadow striker position. We need a player here with over 120 current ability. Rasmussen is decreasing. He's getting to the end of his career. Even though he's playing great. Four games, three goals and one assist. We need a better player here. And I think we've seen enough from Botker. I'm uh, gonna probably sell this kid. I mean, vision eight, concentration eight, bravery eight, off the ball 10 at 19 years old. Mm, let's try to sell actually, let's do a 2.5 million starting price. I always over ask. Maybe somebody is gonna offer us. I don't know. Even I'll, I'll probably sell even for five hundred thousand because we got him for free, guys. So, <clears throat> but no less than five hundred k. He's too young. He can help us from the bench. But five hundred k is decent we can find we can find better players than him maybe on a free and we can add those five hundred thousand dollar into the wages and offer salaries so we see valerenga interested viking rosenborg alessund okay persuade botger okay he doesn't want to leave I'm gonna make you leave. Okay, so he's already wanted by Molde and Ike. Okay. Two million. Come on. <clears throat> uh, postpone. And postpone. Because we have players on international duty.
that's the last piece of the puzzle guys that we we missed that shadow striker <clears throat> a great shadow striker will give us the the, the title this season 100 percent we can find a guy with over 120 current ability maybe 125 awesome 1.7 million come on give me something we got two teams interested rasmussen injured for two days come on man And definitely before we start a qualifier for Champions League, we have to find that Shadow Striker. Because we definitely need to qualify to the league phase of Champions League. For the first time in our history, playing in the biggest and most famous uh, competition in Europe. Or maybe in the world too, after World Cup. Come on, let's do 1.5 for bot care. One point five from Molde. What did I tell you guys? One point five accept. Awesome. Anders bot gear. We got him for free. We pushed and pushed and pushed, and now if he's gonna he's gonna agree the terms with Molde, we're gonna look for a great shadow striker, and we're gonna pay a lot of money. But we need, we really really need to 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 find a very good one. Two days away until the last game of the stream. Press conference. The fans are really, really happy so far with the way we play. More and more people are gathering to watch Asane play. But we're very far away from that day when we can ask to build a new stadium. Ah, oh, not now, dude. Five to seven day twisted knee for Balac. We have to play Radio Pane. We're lucky to have him until July. Clinton Opeyemi is back from his injury. This guy is improving. I like it. Okay. Opeyemi needs to be on the bench then. We have two central defenders on the bench. Rugland. Gelhart is going to be back between 11 days and 3 weeks. What a player. 
current ability 130 the M. 24 years old we have him until the end of the season May 16th, 2026. Time is flying in our save. Alright. Do we have to check the training levels? Let me double check here. Not yet. But if we press continue one more time, maybe we will. It takes seven days until we can re... Uh, <clears throat> Recheck the training levels and praise the players. Frederic Palumbo. Who is this guy? One of the kids from the youth team. Kamanzi. He is doing his job here on the left. I'm happy with his performance. Let's see Kvale. Kvale is improving too. Norwegian International, under 21 International, but he's just a backup for now. Just one second, guys. Checking some of my bets for today. Not a good day so far. A lot of surprises. <clears throat> God. It's the underdog's day. Alright. Let's check the training levels now. Still, we can't do it, okay. Because it's not seven days since our last game. This is how we're gonna line up, guys, for the last game of the stream. Olsen, Peterson in the goal, Kamanzi on the left, Msomi and Welsh, central defenders, and Romach uh, right back. Matazo, Zamburek in the middle, with Rasmussen behind the striker, Hannibal and, Ra and Hauge uh, on the wings, and Radio Pane advanced forward. Let's get the three points and finish the stream on top. Hopefully on top of the league too, if Bodo Glimt is gonna make another mistake. Let's give the players a boost of confidence.
fifth minute of the game, Romac on the right. With the cross, Hannibal, very close, a little over the goal. Msomi, trying to find Hannibal again, Kamanzi from the rebound, Zamburek, Zamburek, <laughs> what a save by Overtweight, man, so hard to pronounce, Overtweight. Roma corner kick. Zamburek. Matazo. Hannibal. Welsh. Kamanzi, Zamburek, Welsh, Zamburek, back to Welsh, and Hannibal, <laughs> over at Wait, big save here, but it was more Hannibal's bad, bad shot. The fans are demanding a win here. Packed stadium again. We sold a lot of tickets so far. How okay. gay. Nice pass to Rasmussen in the box. And penalty. Usually How gay doesn't miss. He is uh, the penalty kicker. 15th minute of the first half. Come on, Hauge. And Golazzo Asane Jerv 1 0 in the 16th minute of the game. Runar Hauge with the third goal of the season. Decent substitute for uh, Gelhart, who is still injured. Come on, we have to keep the momentum here. Keep the pressure on the visitors. Brendan, good chance here for Jerv. And we are lucky. Peterson with a big save. Man. Romach, corner kick. Let's score one more. Romach again. For Zamburek. Welsh. Welsh. Matazo. Kamanzi. Hauge. Blocked shot. Corner kick again. Welsh. Kamazi with the free kick, 24th minute. Over to Veit. Again with the save. Bodo Glimt and Odds are still tied, but we know Bodo Glimt are gonna, are gonna win. They're playing at home. And uh, we're seeing uh, an injury for Odds. One of their key players probably got uh, got injured. And they're gonna sub him. For now, we are first in the league. If the results are gonna hold, we're gonna finish the stream on the first place. Matazo, Kamanzi. Kamanzi looks more and more comfortable as a left back, guys. 
Rasmussen. Come on, Z. Come on, let's let's win the ball. Let's win the possession back. Yes, Radio Pane, Radio Pane, Golazzo. Yes, two nothing before halftime. Big mistake in the central defense of Gerv. We're putting a lot of pressure on their central defenders. Hannibal, Matazo, Radio Pane. Ah. This time didn't went in. And somebody got injured. Oh man, not you. Not Matazo. It's halftime anyways, but man, what happened? I hope it's not a long-term injury. Let's take him out. Yet. Hannibal. Ah. Way too far. Way too far to score. Still 0 0, Bodo Glimt and odds. Surprisingly, Bodo Glimt is struggling. This time at home. Hauge. Hauge. Come on, counter attack. Pass it. Hannibal. For Radio Pane. Bad angle. Bad angle. Stop shooting. Jeez. And Romac injured. Dude, how many freaking injuries? Everybody's getting injured. Seal stud. And Hannibal yellow card. Brendan, what happened, Brendan? Takes a while until uh, they take him off the field. Come on, Hannibal, put it in. Ah, horrible, horrible. Hauge. Welsh. Radio Pane penalty. Seriously? Okay. Silstad got booked. Careful, man. 6-5 for Silstad. Alright, let's survive this. I don't want to have that type of game where we have 2 nothing and we get equalized in the 95th minute. Huh. 
Hannibal. Radio Pane in the box. Don't lose the ball, please. All right, Hannibal. Back to Radio Pane. Hussein. Oh, what a goal by Hussein. Even though he's 33 years old, he still got it. What a finish. 3 nothing for Asana and the fans are going crazy. Oh. This is the way we end the stream, guys. Thirteen minutes left. Counter attack for Jerv Mechnert. Getting stopped by Welsh. All right, we, we can make some subs now. We've seen enough from the starters. Let's see who else we can put in. Um, Rahold for Hannibal. Haug for Haug for Welsh. And Vale for Kamanzi. Santos rush Vale passing to Hussein Hussein not paying attention here and um, lost the ball I mean he passed the ball to the uh, the wrong <laughs> to the wrong guy to the opposition actually but they took a way way worse shot than I expected even though it's 3 nothing, Jerv is still a decent team and not a bad idea by Raholt over the bar last few minutes here from the regular time and another injury dude what is happening Vale Whatever, we're gonna play without a left back for the last few minutes. What happened? Penalty again? I'll take it. I'll take it. There you go. With one man down. We're still scoring. Come on, Hauge. Do your job. I'm worried about the, the injuries though. And for nothing. Four goals from four penalties. Doesn't matter. We don't want to watch the replay. <laughs> And full-time big win against Jerv. Let's see if 
Bodo Glimt made another wrong, wrong step. Yes, yes they did. They tied odds at home 0-0. Zero, zero. And we are first again. One point in front of Bodo Glint. Let's take advantage of this uh, lucky outcome, guys. We had... I think we had four straight wins. Let's see. Five with the, the one uh, I played yesterday. So, Biasen, Odds, Sandefjord, Christiansen, and Jerv. Okay. We played four games in uh, today's stream. Not bad. Let's praise the goal scorers, Runar Hauge with the double. Hannibal. Did he score? Hold on. No, Radio Pane and Usain with that screamer. It says Usain. Okay, let's see the injuries. Vale injured for three to four weeks. Thank you, game. And Matazo for five to six days. This is better, but. Vale, one month out. We're lucky we have um, we have replacements. Press conference after the game. Keep it positive. Let's see the league table. This is how it looks, guys. We're on top of the league. That's it for today. Thank you guys for uh, for watching the stream. Thank you for joining. Uh, don't forget to follow if you enjoyed what you, you saw. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Probably, like I said, 8 a.m. Central Time or 8.30 the latest. Enjoy the rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.